Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to demonstrate how to replace the pumping element out of a P203 unit. It is a very simple task to do and it takes only a few minutes of your time. Let's quickly explain how an element works. The pumping element piston is cycled by a cam lobe attached to an electric motor. The cam presses on a piston driving lubricant into the supply lines. A spring then assists with retracting the piston so the chamber can open for lubricant to enter. For comparison, this operation closely resembles the cycling of a handheld grease gun. Elements are wear parts and may require occasional replacement in the field. Some of the common causes of failure are debris, contamination, or lubricants with high concentrations of solids. We'll wear the pump piston over time, which leads to loss of volume and pressure. If your system is failing to cycle and controller is displaying fault codes, test the element by attaching a gauge and ball valve to simulate building pressure in a supply line. Failure to achieve pressure indicates the element requires replacement. Most applications will have the pumping element attached to the pump's left hand side. To replace the element, disconnect power to the unit, remove the feed line from the pressure relief valve, and unthread the pressure relief valve from the outlet. Grease units typically do not require removal of the lubricant. However, those removing the element from a P203 configured to dispense oil, be sure to empty the reservoir prior to the next step. Take either a 1 and 1 16 socket or wrench or a 27 millimeter socket or wrench to the element to loosen and remove from the port. Be sure that all components are removed from the port, such as the washer, piston, and spring. Verify the element type by looking at the element body. On most of them, there is a number stamped on the surface indicating which one to use. Also, take a look at the unit description label. The factory installed element designation is listed here as well. Standard element is a K6 or 6mm element. We have others available depending on the dispense volume rates or material type dispensed. In greasing systems, the element port now has a large air cavity where the previous element was positioned. Before installation of the new element, I would recommend packing the cavity with fresh grease as well as the element so it has a chance to prime itself. Failure to do this may cause the unit to stay airbound, resulting in failure to dispense lubricant. The element should easily slide into the port, however, some may find that the cam attached to the internal motor may be in the maximum lift position. You may need to cycle the pump to reposition the lobe away from the port so the element may be easily threaded into the port. For those using the adjustable elements, the dispense volume must be set. From the factory, they are adjusted to their maximum volume output. Loosen, then remove the lock nut. Using a set of calipers, measure from the element body end to the tip of the spindle to set the required output. We will set ours to 27 millimeters for an output of 1 tenth of a cubic centimeter per stroke, then tighten down the lock nut. Finish the installation by reattaching your relief valve. Power up the unit and initiate a lubrication cycle. It may take a minute or two to see lubricant begin to flow out the relief valve outlet, but once this occurs, shut off the pump, reconnect your system supply line, and once again verify unit is dispensing, this time that it is cycling the system. If lubrication cycle ends successfully with no faults and the valves dispense, repair is complete. Thank you. 